Okay, um, I'm going to explain toboggans. This is the traditional uh, trapper's toboggan, basically. It's made out of hardwood, usually made out of ash. And uh, this is the design toboggan that I have that I'll uh, talk about in a little bit. But this toboggan is he heavier by about seven, eight pounds than this one. And the problem with it, the toboggan like this is that you tie your gear up with tarps and you're constantly getting snow and ice in here. So you're getting almost an extra five pounds of snow and ice and it's really hard to hard to get, keep that snow and ice off. So it's, you know, it's pretty heavy just the toboggan and the ice. So what I've done on this model here that I'll explain, uh, this is super light, weighs about 18 pounds. Uh, it's made out of Sitka spruce, very thin runners. You can see the runners here. Uh, the runners uh, laminate at Sitka spruce. The structure here is uh, white cedar, local cedar. And this is an eighth inch birch plywood on the sides. Now, this has a, other than just straight being light, this plows through the snow very easily. It's very easy to pack. You can, uh, these come out and I just strap these down. Containers like that, there's three containers. And um, you utilize every you know square inch of your space where there's a tarp. That's hard to do. And um, I painted it white uh, because um, if you have uh, food, let's say meat, cheese, butter inside, if it's a darker color, it'll reheat really up inside. This way, it doesn't doesn't heat up, and, it, and you don't have the uh, when you get a darker sled, you get the snow on a thaw day like this. It'll It'll thaw and then freeze on the sled. So white white is a real. It also waterproofs it, protects the wood. So if the wood gets wet, the the uh, paint keeps the water out of the wood. Whereas the, the paint wasn't there, um, I'd be carrying a pulling now more more weight in this if this got wet. So weight is everything. Um, I've got a couple of mounts here for a GoPro on the top of it, and then I'll pull it off of the front. Um, pulls off of here and I have just a rope and a regular harness that I use. I use the same harness for hauling the canoe and I pull this on, on a harness and uh, I usually tra travel with skis. Like 99% of the time I use uh, skis and not show snowshoes and this year um, I'm not bringing snowshoes. I'm just gonna, I may regret that if I get three feet of snow but um, I won't regret the three pounds of the snowshoes and the bulk of it uh, if we don't get the snow. So I'm gonna just Go with the ski without the snowshoes and go with skis. Skis generally are easier to travel on. This is 14 inches. Your basic uh, ski track is just a little over 12, so this will follow uh, your ski track. So it's all designed that way. And it's 10 feet long from one end to another. I pack it with heavier stuff in here, in this area here, later in the front. I'll put my sleeping bag up here in this part portion. So it utilizes uh, every square inch. Uh, it's light to start with, and it doesn't accumulate snow or ice uh, as you're hauling, whereas a traditional one will re-pick it up. If you go through slush or water on the ice, uh, this toboggan can gain 20 pounds on you, and sometimes it's, they're really hard to pull if they slush up. But So that's the um, toboggan here. Okay.